All right, Ben, it's my first day here. Do you have any advice for me? So here's the thing. Never go in the dressing room when Knowles is in there. Keep your back to the wall and uh, never be alone in a room with Michael Knowles. The guy's an animal. He's, I mean, he's a total animal. He has this horrible habit, I'm not lying to you, of just taking off his shirt randomly. <laughs> And it is a terror to everyone surrounding him. I've heard this several times. Yeah, no, of course. They're on to us in media matters. But... Right. In general, stay away from Knowles. I mean, like... We all know it. It's just one of those secrets. It's like Matt Maurer, you know? It's like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the best piece of advice that you can give me? Stay the hell out of my way. I am new to Nashville, so yeah. what is it I do on weekends? Uh, listen to your screaming child. Bring your kids to a playground and just spend the whole time counting them to make sure one of them doesn't get kidnapped. Are there any Daily Wire inside jokes that I need to be aware of? Michael Knowles. There's this really hilarious joke that Ben wants to fire me. That's the punchline <laughs> to every joke. Every Anybody joke. says knock knock, Michael, Michael Knowles. Knowles. <laughs> yeah. It's a joke. It's not real. Please. I have a kid now. <laughs> if you were famous for something else, what would you be famous for? I'm an excellent whistler. Really? Yes. My uh, spaghetti a la carbonara. If you were famous for something else, what would you be famous for? Something else. I'm not famous in the first place. That's the first <laughs> a good proper spaghetti a la carbonara is the pasta, the pancetta or the guanciale or the bacon or mm -hmm. whatever, egg, cheese, pepper. That's it. Yeah. You're done. That's not even my weirdest skill. My weirdest skill is that I can actually play these things on my cheeks. What? what? But no cream, no, no peas. Some people oh, do ridiculous. this. It's no. ridiculous. What about you? I... Good answer. <laughs> I really don't know what I'd be famous for. You want to circle back? Yeah, let's, I'll see. I'll circle back. If you could add anyone to Mount Rushmore, who would it be and why? Hmm. Michael Knowles. No. Oh, I no. thought I took the words out of your mouth there. I would add Billy Mays. First of all, I hate Mount Rushmore. I think Mount Rushmore is, is an idol. I don't like idols. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have, I have a very Calvin Coolidge feeling about Mount Rushmore. Calvin Coolidge was very divided about mm -hmm. Mount Rushmore, which is why I put Calvin Coolidge on Mount Rushmore. He just had a great beard, and I'm told that I have a similar beard to Billy Mays. So, so. you just put him on Mount Rushmore yeah. because he has a good beard, and you think that that would probably come through on the rocks. Yeah, capitalist also. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's really good. That's good. I would add Donald Trump because it would be really fun stuff to watch the left try to tear it down. They would tear it down. But like how? Watching them try to do it? Because usually they just you know, put ropes around the statues and pull them down. It just would be fun to watch it as an Olympic event. It would be like the North by Northwest, remember they're hanging off the... Yeah, North yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. What was the worst job you ever had? Worst job I ever had. Well, I was a professional actor for a few years. That Were was you? pretty... I was. Actors suck. Not yeah. you, but you. like... I worked at a law firm immediately out of law school. That job was so bad that when I quit that job, I went into the senior associate and I said, I'm unhappy, I hate this, I'm depressed. I explained all my reasons. And after I explained, he goes, you know, you're totally right, maybe I should leave. And then I ended up in the boss's office and I was explaining why I was leaving. And he was like, you just understand that you're never gonna make as much money oh, as you make right now. now. I have been wanting to send my tax returns for at least a decade. <laughs> I'm such a loser for saying this, but I genuinely enjoyed all of my jobs. I can think my favorite job ever was nannying. There's nothing like, like the challenge of children, and so I just really got into it. One of my best jobs I ever had, I was a Subway sandwich artist. Oh. You see, and it's so you love kids, so you like nanny. I love no. hoagies. If you could have someone like a personal assistant follow you around all the time, what would you have them do? Bring me green juices. That, that. <laughs> Kale's actually really good. Even kale, like to eat kale, kale salad. Like I, I actually like kale. It's like that weird Hollywood no, you're trend lying. that started. No, no one swear. likes kale. This is a lie. I, it's so good. I don't believe it. What would you have them do? Not anything in particular, just to have them obey <laughs> me every second of the day. All the time. Uh, I would probably have them go away. I don't like it. I yeah. don't want people in my business. Let me just say, I don't handle anything in my own life, as everyone who works at The Daily Wire knows. I have to be steered around like a small child mm. from place to place. They're like, well, we're so used to having to like do so. I'm like, guys, I don't understand what's happened. You're what's happened. No, that's right. They yeah. carry me to the car like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> they strap me into the seat. What was your favorite toy and or hobby growing up? Reading. I didn't really do toys so much. We were not allowed to play with toys. Oh. When I was a child, um, we were told that it's you know demonic to yeah. have toys. It's insensitive. This is yeah. an insensitive question. I sound like like I was such a just boring child because I can't think. Of, yeah, I don't. know, My favorite toy was like my cigar. All right. <laughs> How about you? I was really good at pogo sticking. Pogo sticking. Yeah, like I'm like okay. the pogo stick and the hula hoop champ. Wow. Hula hoop. That would be my favorite toy. I, I could literally go. I could hula hoop for hours. You know, I could poke I could pogo stick, but I could never hula hoop. You could pogo stick? Oh yeah. Oh, we should. No, nah, I don't. I can't now. Of course <laughs> you can. Why not? <laughs> 
but I haven't exactly been on one since I was eight. I can eight. barely walk. It was kind of a category of toys. It was my cap guns. I think they're probably like illegal now. I did love those. I know, I was a psycho. Mm. You know, I was just, uh, <laughs> my toy AR-15s. I think I actually did have a toy AR-15. If you could live anywhere in the world for a year, where would it be? Easily Japan. Uh, I know it's so bizarre. I have a thing about Japan. I have this weird obsession with Japan. I've had an obsession with Japanese people and the culture. Preferably, since we didn't say this, but you don't have to pick when. Samurai. Okay, yeah, that's good. Samurai. Okay, Do they go. let women be samurai soldiers? I'm not sure. You? Well, Israel, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> There's kosher food. Where else is there kosher food? There's no I'm kosher food. I'm gonna make you starve. pick another country besides Israel. Besides Israel. Uh, Italy. Italy's spectacular. Ben Shapiro in Italy. I Italy, like it. Italy's great. I'm yeah. gonna tell Michael no. I would live in Italy probably. I love Italy. I've spent a mm. good amount of time in Italy. Yeah. With like, a nice fat yeah. cigar and a little more. Yeah, you know, tomatoes cold. in the backyard. Yes. Yeah. So I certainly it would be Italy. Well, if Noel's there, I won't go. <laughs> Second place though, Iceland. You know they have the highest rate of alcoholism in the world. Do they? they There's do. something at yeah, darkness the, and it's just cold. The, the national food is hakal, which yeah. is urine-soaked shark. And the uh, national drink is Brennivin, which is also known as the Black Death. Definitely nowhere outside the United States. Probably somewhere empty <laughs> and alone. Like North Dakota. North Dakota. Yeah, just out, flat, empty. Yeah. Okay. You're on death row for a bad tweet from 10 years ago. That could happen it's to you. It's gonna happen next year. <laughs> what would your final meal be? I'm gonna die a conservative and say I'm not going to put a big tax burden uh, as I go out. <laughs> so I'm, I'm good with McDonald's because I love a quarter pounder. There's a last meal you're gonna eat on earth. It's yeah. from McDonald's. With a large fry. I want <laughs> sweet little Elise's homemade lasagna. If I had that lasagna as my last meal, I wouldn't need to. Okay. Be executed the next day, I would die and go to heaven right Ew. there. <laughs> Pet peeves. Loud gum chewers. I'm just like, please stop, please stop, please stop, make it stop. You? Feelings. <laughs> What's the best piece of advice that you've ever received? Probably my dad would always say to me, Matt, stop doing that. Yeah. So that's just a good piece of advice in general. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. That, yeah, that, that thing it. that you're doing, stop. Stop it. Get some help. Just whatever it is. Sounds like an order just, more than advice. Just stop. Just yeah. stop it. So my fourth grade teacher, Miss Trinetti, she really dropped a heavy, a heavy bit of knowledge on me. I was reading these very advanced books and everything, and uh, she and she said to me, "Don't let potential be written on your tombstone." Oh. I was like, "That is a heavy. that's a, that's heavy stuff for Gosh. like a for like a really young for that." The zombie apocalypse is coming. All right. Who are the three people that you want on your team? Dan Bongino, he's smart and then he kills you. For me, I mean, you, you have to take your spouse. Uh, the, here's the problem, there are three people and I have three kids, so now you're made, now it's Sophie's <laughs> choice. So this got really dark <laughs> incredibly quickly. I want one person to shoot for me. So there I'm, gonna, I'm thinking of like, I don't know, some killer, like Dana White or something, someone yeah. really it's tough. Yeah. You know? Is there anybody left who's tough enough? I guess, you know, somebody who, who could, you know, maybe that Gronkowski, he could yeah. just kind of hold the Neck. zombie, right? That's like, it. Yeah. 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 I want someone to eat, you know, if it really comes down to it. If we're just talking about like, who would help me survive, I'll take Jocko Willink, mm -hmm. I'll take Rogan. Mm -hmm. I want someone to really, you know, have some good repartee with. Some sort of like a poet. Cardi B. <laughs> Cardi maybe, B? Maybe Cardi B. Yeah, you know, because it might, it would be fun. It would be. I'm trying to think of a third. Hmm. <sighs> Somebody on my team who couldn't run really fast. Third person is someone that you want to throw the zombie, so I would take yeah. Hillary Clinton. Oh, yeah. You know, because you need to get a head start. I mean, Hillary's a killer. Uh, I, I feel like Hillary might survive. Yeah, that's true. Well, Which is still a benefit. And she might already yeah. be a zombie. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they're going to find you know those I mean? zombies. They're going to be hanging in their cells. Yeah, they're going yeah, like, to they, She's like, I don't know. They all, they all killed themselves. They were depressed. They were depressed zombies. zombies. Yeah. Do you think that there's something wrong with us, the Daily Wire, that we all thought about the third person to throw into the zombies? Really? There's something wrong with us, but we'd survive. But we'd survive, right? Yes. What celebrity would you be super nervous to meet? Who came up with this question? That's oh the my gosh. lamest question. Um, Michael Knowles. Yeah. You? Same. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> what celebrity would you be super nervous to meet? I'm uh, Vladimir Putin because he's a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably be a little nervous to meet the queen. The queen. Definitely the queen. I don't know. She's just been around. Well, we would have to teach her the curtsy. Yeah. I gotta learn the curtsy and. She's a racist, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so that hearing. makes me that, nervous. That you should be nervous. Exactly. <laughs> what is something you would have liked to know at the beginning of your career? I wish I would have known that 90% of what politicians say is BS. I would have liked to know that I'd become such an abysmal failure. <laughs>
<laughs> what fictional character do you wish you could meet? Oh gosh, you go first because I feel like I have an answer. I don't, I don't have an answer. You, I, come on. I don't care you, about this answer. What? Come on. Uh, Spider-Man. Sp yeah. Spider-Man? Oh, oh, actually, that gave me a good idea. Mystique from X-Men. I actually want to be her. I think that would be like the coolest superpower to have. I don't know who that is. Kind of changed the question. What? Matt didn't know who Mystique was. I don't. So I showed him. I don't know who Mystique what? was. What? No. I what don't. is going on yeah, in this place? I, I was thinking Mystique from X-Men. <laughs> have you seen it? Yes. Do you know how many men at the Daily Wire don't know who Mystique is, from X-Men? Is she the one who sucks your vitality out? Or is no. That the Sorry. Oh, my God. That's rogue. That's rogue. She's like, like girls like. Okay. Yeah. She does this. Are Mystique you? is the one that goes like this. <laughs> did you see X-Men? I did see X-Men. No one else the Daily Wire has seen X-Men. And I was like, how do you not know who Mystique is? And everyone was looking at me and they were like, I don't know. and I had to show them. So I was like. I mean, I, I feel like that might not be as evocative as you think it is. No, I, like, it, like if you made those motions, I wouldn't have gotten does. it. There are a lot of characters. And, are you just going to keep doing it? Or, yes, because I need you to acknowledge that I look like Mystique a little bit. I mean. I mean, you do, but you'd have to kick me. <laughs> <laughs> what song do you have completely memorized? I have a lot of songs memorized. That's like ridiculous. I mean, you could, I have every. I didn't, I didn't make the question. What? Okay. Um, I think one that would surprise people is the entire Sound of Music wow, really? soundtrack, like backwards and forwards. I was a huge musical junkie. Me too. What a coincidence. No way. I know the whole thing. I, I really don't believe you on that. Are you being yeah, serious? You no. Okay. <laughs> mm. What would you know if somebody wouldn't like expect you to know? Like, mm. do you know any rap songs yeah, forward yeah. to back? Oh, yeah. Give me one. Like, uh, like hip hop, yeah. hippie, 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 hippie. I do. I actually do know that yeah, song all the way. Yeah, like, and I also classic. I know like uh, you know Biggie Smalls. Oh yeah, I yeah. do. You know the Juicy? one about like uh, Super you know, Nintendo. Like when they call me Big Papa. What, what about um da 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 da? It's the mother f and d o double g. <laughs> Snoop <laughs> Dogg. Yeah, I can get into that one. <laughs> if a criminal turns himself in, should he get the reward money? Uh, you actually thinking about this? I'm just trying to like, you know. Should he get the reward money for his own? It's, it's a lot deeper. Should he get his own reward money? A lot money? deeper. Who are the real winners in life, right? This is a... Uh, you're, you're making this way too philosophical. Mm, I'll circle back. You have to circle back on that question. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Does pineapple belong on pizza? Absolutely not. It's, it's such a strong no. Yeah, it's not even a question. Yeah, it's not yeah we're going to agree on that. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah. And if you have a problem with that, defriend me. Obama liked pineapple on his pizza, so we know how that went for America. It's a really? very easy question to answer. Really? Yeah, are you like, did you support Barack Obama or did you vote for him? <laughs> okay, well then the answer is no. I will go for um, jalapeno and pineapple. Disgusting! You are outnumbered at the day wire. Yeah. So you know, you're the only person that feels that way. Does pineapple belong on pizza? No! Thank you. Oh, oh. oh my. You know who like wasn't sure about that? I, I ben Shapiro. So. And I was like, he was ben like, well, sometimes. What is he? He's kosher. He hasn't eaten. Was good, hasn't had a good meal in his entire life. Like, exactly right. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yes. I hate you for saying that. I hate you a little bit for two, saying that. Two, two uh, pieces of bread, uh, meat Not in pieces between. Pieces of bread. It's technically one. The fact that they're connected doesn't matter. It's, no. So it you is, think, is, a, it's a you think it's, a gyro is a sandwich? Uh, yeah. No, a taco is a sandwich. Yes. Because a taco is more akin to a hot dog. Is a hot dog a sandwich? The answer is no. Oh, Candace. No, come on. We agree on so much. I feel like I'm not going to fit in here. Yeah, You're no. not. What? No, because What's there's your... a lot of misogyny. Because yeah. you said it was a sandwich. Yeah. And Matt Walsh said it was a sandwich. It and is. that is yeah. misogyny. I, Andrew Cuomo said yeah. it was a sandwich mm -hmm. when he was talking Men about Men and sandwiches, it's a thing. Yeah. No, and I'm... I feel like you guys are trying to force what, out what me because I'm argument? a woman. Why is it not a sandwich? I just, this is, this is, this is. The, the question itself misogynistic. is misogynistic. Fair enough. Yeah. Does it have meat? Yes. You're saying does a taco's it, a sandwich? Can I, can I, does it have meat? Yes. Does it have bread? Yes. Socratic method, I just proved it was a sandwich. No, you didn't. You didn't, because you didn't start with asking me, do all sandwiches have just meat and bread? All right. Maybe but, you need to brush up on but, your Socrates, okay. buddy. It's not a sandwich. Yes! Yes! You are my friend of the Daily Wire! Of course it's not a sandwich. You know what they, they said? Okay, Michael Knowles, he needs to be fired. I know I've heard you've heard this. No, Candace. <laughs> No, you he, shock me. I'm shocked, shocked. He needs to be fired. I just, I'm gonna leave that there. Of, of course he needs to yeah, be fired. I've only been here a few days. I mean, not because of that question, yeah, but, but also because of that Michael, question. He just, he's got this whole hot dog theory and it's, it's really sloppy. That's stupid, it's closer and to it's, a taco than it is to a, to a sandwich. It's, thank you, I said literally the taco thing. I was like, a taco is not a sandwich. It's like, thank you so much. You're welcome. You know, and also Matt Walsh said this, but. No, I, that, that's just, just incorrect. I was, it's fundamentally I was really incorrect. Upset. Thank you, thank you. We have to debate them on that. It's not a sandwich because the bread is not actually a part for okay, a hot now, dog. I understand you get this. what I'm saying? I understand your it objection. Has to be, yes. However, is a hoagie a sandwich? A hoagie? A ho I'm sorry, I'm speaking sort of normal. Oh, Subway. Like, like, yeah, a yeah, subway, like a Subway, like a wedge. Okay, this is actually a good. See? This, this is. I've spent a lot of time on this question. You have. <laughs>
I will say you brought up a good. I like what you did there. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah I'll the think. Persuasion. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No. Is it? Yes. <laughs> no. A yes. Hot dog's not a sandwich. And it, which brings us back to your earlier point that Michael knows is a horrible human being. Oh, he's a horrible. I'm telling yeah. you, do not be alone. Oh, in the room. Well, yeah. Right? yeah. This guy thinks a hot dog's a sandwich. How, how is but it like, so did so. So does Matt, by the way. In well, case Matt, we need to like just you like have to understand, Matt is not from this planet. I know. He yeah, he's never seen a exactly. You know, <laughs> yeah, they were like ganging up on me, and they were like, oh, I don't see it. And I was like, no, I will not. This is brainwash. This is propaganda. Of course, a sandwich. And I said a taco is not a sandwich. No. For the same reason. The reason you know how you can tell. A sandwich is called a sandwich. Yeah. It's like a roast beef cheese sandwich. It's like a hot dog. It's called a hot dog. Gosh, it's, like, it's so brilliant. It <laughs> needs no further explanation. So you know simple. how you know? Because a sandwich <laughs> is called a sandwich. So the hot dog doesn't even want to be a sandwich. <laughs> it's not even self-identifying as a sandwich. That's right. That's yeah. it's right. It, it would be insulted. Yes. Well, don't Thank call Thank you. Me. Oh, I needed to hear that. Oh, that's it. You're that's up. the end of my questions. That's the end? Yep. Oh, that's the end of mine, too. That's it. Did we win? We nailed that. That was amazing.